great cross variance. I once more want to address you on the burning issues as it concerns our young people. Ensa's protest has taken a different dimension in the state. We, the people of Cross River State, we are known to be peace-loving. We are people who love our neighbors. We are very caring and very nice people, highly civilized. Same with our young people. The Ensa's protest it's a protest and it's a fight that all of us have identified with you and we stand by you at this moment. This is also a great opportunity for us in leadership to recognize the anguish, the pain, the agony and frustration you feel. And like in my earlier broadcast, I stand with you at these difficult times. But Grace Cross Rivers, if we destroy our own assets as a state with one of the lowest allocations in the country, we will not have the ability to rebuild. The factories, the garment factory, the industrial park, all the factories we have built, the idea is to create jobs because we recognize the fact that roads and superhighways and what have you not create jobs, it can only create money for the main contractors. And so we decided to go agro-industrial so that we can create jobs for our teaming youths. I believe that job creation is at the priority, is at the topmost of the agenda to be able to address the issue before us today. Even though the immediate cause is the police brutality, the remote cause includes issues of unemployment and lack of access. We understand that some people came through the waters in chartered boats into the state. Because I knew cross -Iverians. this is not us, this is not our nature. This acts, even as many as we have seen, we have not seen faces that are particularly cross -Iverians. I believe that cross should all rise, young and old, to defend our state. If it burns to ruins, we have no other state to call our own. It's time to rise and defend our state. It is not good to throw away the child with the bad water. Please protect your motherland. Protect your state. So that as a young man, you become a leader tomorrow. So that you can also pass the lessons. Let us not destroy this beautiful state. It's the tourism capital of Nigeria. If we have incidents that report, it will disrupt our carnival, it will disrupt our culture, it will disrupt the impression that it is the most peaceful state. Let us therefore come together and handhold each other to protect us and protect our state from the external infiltration. Because I know the real young perseverance who indeed have been leading this protest have also issued statements to say they don't want it to be opportunity for violence. So I know that what has happened today is definitely something a bit external. For us civilians, this is not the time to pass blames. This is not the time to take vengeance. Every politician must have his political opponents who think differently. But at this time, let the fear of God prevail. Because Nigeria is at a very challenging moment. Let us overcome this situation across the country and have reasons to celebrate the ability to survive it. The cases of other countries who have gone this path, it's very well known to us. Particularly here in Africa, it will be very dangerous for us to continue. Your point has been made. I plead that let the government be given opportunity to be able to repair the damage and repair the history of pain and frustration that you've gone through. As much as possible, I'd like to see that Crossroads State return to normalcy. It is my wish and hope that this kind of situation should end today and should never happen again in our history. Please, we have learned our lessons. Give us an opportunity to make amends. No human being is perfect. So whatever your concerns are, please 
this the spirit of crossover please let us forgive each other let us come together as a state let's be united and feature the people who come to infiltrate and destroy our states i thank you all and i know that as crossoverian in our dna violence is not part of us and i know that god willing tomorrow we'll all come together and say hallelujah that god has made it possible that we now have peace Thank you and God bless.